How much is this going to cost me exactly? Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. What do you mean everyone's dead? Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is, or... How it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. I can't believe it. All those people... dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Th things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me. But then... Yeah. Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. What did happen? It... will be easier to show you. a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads. 
And it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. So, if I do what you want, will I live through it? We have no way of knowing. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves as she did, until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come, it is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. <laughs> It's over. Drop your weapon. Now! If you're going to lead me through a demon-infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. <sighs> you're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. Your life is threatened enough as it is. Make the 
these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own for now. them we may gain the advantage
did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. It's good to meet you, Barry. You may reconsider that stance in time. Oh, I'm sure we'll become great friends in the valley, Chuckles. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate, well versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped, and who did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker.
innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. animated through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Another rift! We must seal it! Quickly! They keep coming! Help us! Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. The prisoner. Ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who he is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. So none of you are actually in charge here? You killed everyone who was in charge! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. 
Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. As before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoner's doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You'll lose a lot more unless I get to the breach. Indeed. The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was.
You're here. Thank the Maker. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'll try, but I don't know if I can reach that. Much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Feel it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. You know this stuff is red lyrium, Seeker. I see it, Varric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. It's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Keep the sacrifice still. Someone help me! That is divine. called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run while you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Kill him, now. there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember echoes of what happened here the fade bleeds into this place this rift is not sealed but it is closed albeit temporarily i believe that with the mark the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely however opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side that means demons! Stand ready!
I didn't know you were awake. I, I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. So you're saying they're happy with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. That's him. That's the Herald of Andraste. They said when he came out of the Fade, Andraste herself was watching over him. Hush. We shouldn't disturb him. Why did Lady Cassandra have him? I thought the secrets knew everything. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. any bigger. I heard he was supposed to close it entirely. Still, it's more than anyone else has done. Demons would have had us otherwise. Nothing to do with us. 
That is a chance of Roderick's decision, sister. immediately to be tried chain him I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial disregard that and leave us you walk a dangerous line seeker the breach is stable but it is still a threat I will not ignore it I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. All before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. We lost everything, then out of nowhere you came. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
So we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender or... Don't be foolish. We are the Chantry, as much as any Grand Cleric. That prattle from Valeroyo isn't the word of the Maker. It's politics. Does it trouble you? It stops spreading and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Chancellor Roderick came to speak with me. Could you try not to antagonize him? If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. 